After a summer of delays and cancellations last year, BC Ferry says they've made changes to deliver more reliable service heading into the peak season. There are always things that will go wrong, uh, in particular during a busy peak season. It's often uh, as a result of factors beyond our control, things like weather, uh, and sometimes, uh, as we experienced last summer, uh, mechanical issues can come into play. Uh, but we're ready for that. A large portion of last season's cancellations were caused by mechanical issues and staffing shortages. BC Ferries in turn hiring 600 new staff and tightening up the refit schedule for all 37 ferries to ensure they are ready before the peak. So that reduction in overall cancellations is largely attributed to all of the outstanding efforts to hire people, to retain people, and to make BC Ferries truly a place that people want to work. BC Ferry says they're gearing up for what could be their busiest summer season yet, expecting around 8 million passengers and 3 million vehicles on board between June and September. They're urging passengers who have vacation planned to book reservations well in advance to guarantee a smooth sailing. I've been coming to this uh, longboard race for 10 years, so it's usually bad this weekend specifically. I travel all the time and uh, the line are pretty large. It's really difficult uh, booking because a lot of bookings are done two weeks ahead. Yesterday I was here and the, the one o'clock ferry that I'm catching today was actually delayed to two o'clock so it messed up my connection in the Nanaimo to get to Comox so that's why I'm leaving today. When an unexpected issue does come up, BC Ferry says they will be ready to deal with them. We'll implement uh, contingency plans, including water taxis on minor routes, or if necessary, where the service outage is likely to be lengthier, the potential redeployment of ships from one route to another. There's all kinds of cir circumstances. It can be weather, it can be um, somebody's car doesn't work or something like that. You give a little bit of leeway for that. Starting in June, BC Ferries is also dropping the 4% fuel surcharge and adding more safer fare options to make traveling more affordable. In West Vancouver, Cecilia Hua, City News.